Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for pay us no mind. And let me tell you three things that excite me about the digital distributor Sonoma. First, funding. Many artists turn to platforms like Kickstarter and Patreon to rally financial support for a new album. And the way that works is, I give you $100 to fund your new album. You give me a t-shirt to feed to the moths in my closet. Not exactly incentive. What if instead, I could give you $100 and claim a fraction of a percent of your royalties, becoming an invested investor with an interest in the overall success of the song? Well, I can. Because Sonomo, where an artist can distribute a song, have that song receive a valuation, have the valuation be broken into shares investors can buy, thereby becoming more invested in the success of the song. If I'm a playlister, I playlist it. The placement drives up the plays, which drives up the revenue and the value of the shares. That's a win and incentive. Your project is funded, you get free promotion, and the investor makes money. Okay, that was investing. Now let's talk about distribution. Content ID. Janet Jackson said it best. Control! And that's what this is about. Other digital distributors allow you to monetize your music on YouTube, but they don't allow you to restrict it. So you don't really have control over your music on YouTube. Now, why would you want to restrict it? Think of movies on YouTube. I pay $5 to rent a movie because I can't watch it for free through an ad monetized version. If I could, my view would only generate one thousandth of a cent for the people that made the movie and not $5. If you have the option to restrict, you can charge more for access through downloads, memberships, or any other way you can think of. Digital distributors don't get a percentage of revenue you'd make from selling access through a membership, which is why they don't allow you to restrict. Now, stats, correction, advanced stats, not just for Spotify, but for Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music, and more. But let's focus on Spotify. What does Sonomo show you that other digital distributors do not? Time. Spotify only counts plays that last at least 30 seconds. On Sonomo, you can see the number of streams that lasted for less than 30 seconds, from 30 seconds to a minute, and for the full duration of the song. Scenario. I'm advertising my music on Facebook to drive traffic to Spotify. I check Spotify. The streams are flat. I head to Facebook, try different graphics, a new video, different messaging, same result, no streams. Maybe it's broken or maybe it's the song. If I can check Sonomo and see that the ad was effective at driving traffic to the song, but the listeners stream for less than 30 seconds so it didn't count, I can save lots of money by not continuing to invest in that song. Device type. This matters because desktop users have the ability to stream music on demand and mobile phone users do not, unless they have a premium subscription. Meaning, they cannot say, I'm in the mood for, and go and play that song. They can only play playlists on shuffle on mobile if they are on the free tier. So you need for each listener to playlist multiple songs in order to have sustainable streaming activity. So it impacts your marketing by making it about re-engaging pre-existing listeners rather than a cycle of continuously finding new ones. So those are the three things that excite me about Sonomo. The Music Stock Exchange, Content ID, and Advanced Spotify Stats. You can learn more about Sonomo by clicking the link in the description box. Make sure you share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. As always, y'all can hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. This is GIF signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace, good people. One.